danger. What's the danger sign say, I wonder? Worm breeding grounds. Beware of worms. Oh, these are actually breeding grounds. I always knew there were a lot of worms here, but I didn't know they were breeding grounds. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're coming up to our first boss now, uh, Whiteout. You see this kind of structure here? Uh, it's pretty much it's a horseshoe path going up it. I'm not going to go up that side. I'm going to go up the other side. Um, very steep. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm going to flag everyone back here for reasons which will become clear very soon. We're going to come up. White out is on the top. It's a bit of. It's, it's like one of those cliffs um, from The Lion King. But yeah. You see that boulder? Eh, should I let myself be hit by it? This will catch anyone off guard. This, I mean, really. The first time you come here, how are you supposed to know a boulder's going to come? I'll let Corey get hit by it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so. Um, you want to dodge that. Be very careful of it. I think another one comes from the other side of the horseshoe. Up you get Corey. Come on. And uh, at the very apex of it, if you will, uh, you'll find a group of very powerful elementals, including an avalanche, which is a boss. White out. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, I hate these guys. I quite like the avalanche warnings in this area because I, it kind of has an undertone that they're hinting about the enemy's avalanches. Um... In any case, this guy hits like a beast, especially due to the fact he's with a regular avalanche next to him and a load of ice elementals. I mean, he's already killed Corey, or one of them has somehow. Uh, I'm going to die, probably. Come on, if we can just knock him out, that's all we need. I don't care if we wipe after that. Come on, come on! Yes, there we go. Ah, oh, he dropped a lockpick. I hope I get rezzed. So yeah, that's uh, this fight. That's the first guy down. Anything you can do. Just one more person to fight here. I like how resilient, resilient my team is considering I just kind of slap them together. But yeah, brilliant. Okay, so that's the first guy. The other guy is just over here. Which, as it turns out, is really the last place in Jaga Marine I haven't shown you. So, if I stop being snared, we can get going. And this next place we're going to has got an amazing view. It's so, so cool. I, I think I prefer the view mostly because it looks out on these, these these sections of the mountain here, I think. Or it could even be the northern mountains. See that? That looks suspiciously well detailed. It's like there could be something there. I don't know. I'm probably just looking into the darkness too much. But basically, it looks out to a really cool area. Oh, more elementals. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to speed it up till we get there. I'll leave the minimap on. Okay, here we go. I think it could be the Northern Mountains that's looking at, actually. Uh, so you get this kind of ominous looking path with these big kind of flaming pillars next to it. This is where this guy lives. What was he called? Uh, Avar the Fallen. This exiled Norn. And as we go up, you can see lots of stationary bone fiends. These guys are really weak. They don't <laughs> take uh, much, much of a beating before they go down. But the idea is that this Avar guy, obviously, he's the, he's the one who summoned them. So we're going to fight our way through a couple of them. A couple more up here on a rampage bonus. Here we go. He's just up here. Um... Initially, he's just got a lot of corpses around him, lots of Norn commoners, uh, and a couple of bone fiends. And the second you go there, he says, Rise, my minions, the living offer their flesh. And they all come and try and beat the crap out of you. Um, as you can see, they actually do quite a lot of damage. This isn't isn't too well known, so I will tell you guys this, for, for those of you who play. Minion masters, you, you might not expect it, but the bone fiends are the ones that do most damage. Because they stay still, they don't have to... And they, they've got a pretty good rate of fight. The, the bone minions, the ones that get up close, actually don't do much damage because it, it takes their AI so long to realise to attack things. If you get a load of um, bone fiends or jagged horrors and stuff... Uh, sorry, just bone fiends, the ranged ones, you can actually do mo most damage as an MM through those. Excluding stuff like Death Nova. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So Avar the Fallen, just slice your way through his minions and knock him out. There you go, he's down. 
I think he's always there. You can always come back. And yeah, you get this awesome look out at these mountains. Very steamy, very... Yeah, it's directly north. So, what a view. What a view. This is the kind of place you come for screenshots. I think my graphics have bugged out a little bit there, which is weird. That's supposed to be kind of misty. It's not supposed to be like that. But yeah, there you go. Um, the northern mountains. Will we ever go there? Who knows? Who knows? That's where the Kodan come from, by the way. Uh... I'll put a blog post about them. They're not introduced at all in Guild Wars 1, but they're an amazing race, and they're in Guild Wars 2. Uh, they come from the far north, from icebergs, and they sail iceberg ships and stuff. They come from further up north there. Lots of cool information there, so check the description for a link to that blog. And yeah, um, oh, and a lock chest. Yeah, well, let's open it with the lockpick we got. Yeah, a purple, whatever. <laughs> okay, um, I think that's everything. Let's go fight the antiquity, the fragment of antiquities, sorry. Uh, and yeah, this is goodbye to Sifala from here on, guys. Um, really, there's <laughs> no reason we ever have to come back here. This is all the quest. Oh, no, 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 it's not goodbye. It's not goodbye. What am I talking about? We've got another quest after this one. Ignore me. All right, so we're going to fight the Fragment of Antiquities. Do you remember the Jotun Cave? I'll cut it till we get there. Do you remember that? Up here, um, there's actually an entrance to a dungeon up there. I'm not going to complete the dungeon, obviously. We're just going to go in and find the Fragment. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, here we are uh, in this bit of the cave. Do you remember this? By the way, I never mentioned it, despite the fact we've been here a couple of times. I love this cave. I love how slanted the floor is. This all happened a few times in Eye of the North. It's really cool the way they do that with the terrain. Um, it creates some really cinematic looking looking sections. Like, just looking down this cave sometimes. Or just how everything's slanted. Anyway, so we're going to ignore some of the Jotun over there. Who, by the way, I just noticed the Skull Smasher Jotun are wearing like polar bear pelts for skirts and you can actually see the polar bears heads on them it's pretty crazy but um pretty much there's a dungeon here okay every dungeon in the game i might not have explained this very well yet every dungeon in the game has got an associated quest with it which runs alongside the dungeon so you enter the dungeon and when you finish the dungeon you finish the quest uh let's speak to her first sonia the crimson never anger a norn the crimson that's a pretty cool name Listen to the wind, perhaps you cannot hear it, but it screams of a mighty battle to be fought, to raise your weapons and go. Okay, so uh, basically this quest, I won't show you the content of it really until we complete this dungeon properly, but we do need to get the quest to progress deep enough into the dungeon to find this antiqui fragment of antiquities, okay? What news of the war? So if you really want to, pause it, but I'll be reading that out in a later episode so you don't have to. Um, let's head on in. Drag Rimar is how you say it. Drag Rimar. Okay, so um, to reach the fragment, I think it is just as simple. This dungeon's pretty cool. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about it, but basically, you've got kind of uh, these rings you have to go to to get a certain thing, and then you go, it will open the corresponding door. Scrap of parchment. This place is a labyrinth. If you dare venture in, find me first, and I will reward you. Remlock, Outrunner in the Drakkar Lake. Okay, um. Yeah, uh, I, w I won't mention that much, but we're get just going to go north and uh, to about there, I guess. You don't have to go very deep for this quest. Very beautiful in here, though, isn't it? I really like a lot. The, a lot of the oh shit, almost ran into that. That was going to be just like in nightfall. Oh, okay. I really like a lot of the depths of Tyria stuff. It's just a shame you can tell that they didn't have time with Eye of the North. I mean, I've I've been banging on about how they spent a lot of time on, on less stuff so the production quality in Eye of the North is really high. But having said that when it comes to the depths of Tyria definitely they were lacking. You d a lot of the dungeons are com comprised of essentially the same assets so you're pretty much just in different ordered dungeons that look exactly the same if you will if that makes sense. Uh, which is a shame but I mean the first time you experience these places you can tell they look pretty amazing don't they? Okay, and there he is. He's up there. The the fragment of antiquities. Uh, so I'm actually going to break. Just try and pull a couple of these. The most annoying thing about pulling elementals is that they snare you on your way back. It's horrible. But uh, basically, these guys are all hard hitters. So you just want to. Everything in here. Have you noticed? Is 
pretty much just made of ice. That's a really nice touch. Another really nice touch is that the ranges in here, um, the stalagmites or the stalactites, they uh, they all use frozen soil, which is a really nice touch considering we really are on, on frozen soil. Reminds me a bit of the Jade Sea, really, with all the textures around here. And he's out. Very simple, that one. Not a very unique fight at all, is it? The only unique thing about that one is that it's inside a dungeon. So there we go. That should be everything. Everything you can do. Anything you can do. Yeah, there we go. Right, so this isn't actually the end of this quest chain. There's one last thing we can do to impress Sif. And it's quite hard. Put it that way. It's a solo mission. Feels like just yesterday we got out <laughs> of the non tournament and here I am doing another horribly difficult solo here? mission. Perhaps I misjudged you, human. Despite the odds, you've prevailed. But there is one more thing you must do. Seek me when you are ready to take the final step. I can hear your tune already. So here we go. We get uh, another skill from this. I am unstoppable. A perfect salvage kit. I'll explain what that is when we've got it. Um, so yeah, here we go. Are you ready to tackle a worthy quest, Matt Greenspring? In the highest icy reaches live the glacial griffins. They are deadly and prey mostly on wolves, bears and other large game. I have spread wolf carcasses around the village to attract one of these beasts. Your task is simple, single-handedly slay a gra glacial griffin. Only then will your deeds be worthy of song. Only then will your fame rise to the level of a true non. Put that beast on ice. Do I get a song for not killing things? I guess if you never killed anything, then maybe. Right, so yeah, this is a solo mission. I'm going to go in with the bill. No, okay, I'm going to change this. But this is still just to demonstrate to you guys what the fight is like. So I'm going to... Let's go with Grenth. We haven't used Grenth for a while. Plus, it'll probably help me out Who a bit. Who sent you? Okay, so cold as ice. You'll be moved from your party to face it alone. So this is just with my default skill bar. We'll see how we do. Me and Corey... Lots of wolves around. The glacial griffin will arrive in XXX seconds. I, I can't remember where he appears. I think he appears just right in the middle. Keep your eyes open, guys, because you might see it before me. There it is. There it is. Okay, so it's allied at the moment. And this thing is a spirit summoner, like Raza. If you remember it when I was doing Norn tournament coverage, um, I talked about how Raza was really quite annoying. And that's because he's a spirit summoner. Um, so pretty much... We're just going to try and beat into him. He does a lot of damage in melee. There you go. He's got a spirit up now called the Spirit of Shadow Song. Oh, no. Bollocks. And he just tears you apart, as you can see there. So, I'm going to have to change my build, probably. Well, I don't know. I, I did more damage there than I thought I was going to. Um, to deal with him. Anti-summon stuff, stuff like that. So, I'm going to stop filming for a second, sort myself out. And then we'll see if we can kill it. See you guys in a sec. Okay. Right, so all I've done, literally, is I've changed I Am The Strongest for You Move Like A Dwarf, and I've added Shroud Of Distress from from the Assassin line, which will help me block the spirits when my health gets low, and give me the regen I need. Now, the idea here is that um, You Move Like A Dwarf can be used to interrupt his Blood Song, Shadow Song shit, which he's already used, and I didn't interrupt. Crap. Can we knock him? Can we knock the shadow song down? Nope. Come on. Ah, see, this is the annoying thing. It keeps you there. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. There we go. It's down. Right, back on the Griffin. So sh shroud of distress. Hopefully, I was hoping would keep me alive. Um, thing is, as long as I keep blocking, this is quite <laughs> to do with luck. Oh god, I don't know if this is gonna work. I, did, I wasn't aware he could activate Shadow Song so damn fast. Oh, he's done it again. He's done it again. <sighs> he seemed to be just about hanging in there. There we go, it's out. Ah, oh, and he's recast it straight away. Bollocks. Alright, I think I'm just going to ignore Shadow Song. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still going. I really, I can't believe it. Not doing too badly. 
I'm just hanging on from a thread of life. Literally, this was like a two second. Oh, maybe I can do this. I think I'm going to get him, guys. I think I'm going to get him. No, I'm blind again. No, no, no. Oh, I'm just a couple of health away from dying. Oh, die, 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 die. No! Oh my god, I can't believe it. Wow, that actually wasn't too bad. Okay, I'm going to try that again. And I will cut it till, I don't know, he's nearly dead again. Okay, I think this is about the same health as before. Uh, he's got a shadow song up again. I've literally just... I changed one skill. I added... Uh, I removed you move like a dwarf. No! 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 Oh, come on. So close. Oh, we'll get him next time. Okay, about the same again, I'd say. He's so close to dying. He's so close. Why do I have a really bad feeling? I've got a refresh shroud of distress. Good, it wasn't interrupted. Come on. No! Oh, what happened? How? How? Oh, and again. Okay, here we go again. His shadow song's ages away. I managed to kite out of the way of it. I think this is it. No, no, no. He's recast it. Just die. Just die. Just die. Yes! There we go. He's out. Thank, thank God for that. Uh, one thing, guys, I would not recommend doing it with this build. I um, I, I just this build is no. Just, just don't try it. Too, too frustrating. Too many attempts. Oh, thank God for that. I the reason why I didn't go for a different build or anything like that is because sometimes I don't know. I, I begrudge this game for throwing a quest at me and, and, and pretty much saying no you have to go spend a shitload of money on new weapons and armor and equipment just and new skills just to be able to complete it i do and i knew that that build could do it it was just a matter of time so there you go he does have his weaknesses check out a guide if uh, on the wiki or something if you're looking for that but oh my god there we go that's the glacial griffin defeated and the end of this quest chain why are you here uh, perfect salvage kit, which we've now got. Basically, salvage kit, I've, I've talked about these before, but sa they, these will never break the item that you're salvaging from. Very handy, but they only ever get five uses. You can craft them outside of that quest using other things, which I'll eventually show you. Uh, but that's a nice way to just get one. Okay, so that's all of the quests now. Um, this has ended up being such a long session. Okay, so let's go hand in our reward to Hogney for a Hunter's Pride. And yes, now, now we're going to say goodbye to Sifar. I have no more plans here. That, that's it. So say goodbye to the sheer amount of episodes that have been starting and ending here. Because it's not going to happen again. So goodbye, Sifala. Uh, I will cut it till we're at Hogney, guys. See you in a sec. Okay, hello, Hogney. Time to cap off the episode. Never. Do you now understand what separates a hunter from his prey? A true Norn never turns away from danger, never flees before a challenge. We will not back down. That is true strength of spirit. If you were to survive in these lands, to face the perils that lie ahead, you would do well to learn the same. Great, so we get our three honeycombs and we get the Urson Blessing. I may as well use this from now on instead of Wolfen. And uh, and yeah, that's that one. So now pretty much we can continue with the main storyline. We're going to go with Ogden to seek out Olaf, who is a great Norn, very well respected, <laughs> much unlike uh, Jora, um, who could potentially help us out. He is in Olafstead. Uh, he's got a whole place named after him, so everything should go pretty good. Um, and yeah, Tom's long gone from Olafstead, so it will still be just us in the Shiver Peaks. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and catch me next time for... Uh, by next time, I probably will be there. I won't show you the small walk down there, because we've seen it on Tom. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time. <laughs>